So you all ask how this works. Um, I have set up on Nexus 5, for example. Let's see here, had it uh, limiter. The auto park is all normal. There's no uh, the traction loss, traction loss at surge. So just have it normal there. Uh, if uh, I need to use traction loss, I can set this for uh, five accelerators. So it will act as vertical. It won't center. Uh, also, you have to mean turn this on. Okay. Now it's a, this is the park position. This is fully retracted position. So this is currently loose. Um, let me turn it off. I'm gonna show you how it calibrates itself. I'll turn it on. To get this down, and, uh, with torque, it takes a little bit of torque on the opposite way when it starts pulling down again. Uh, so this is the home position there. Let me turn it back. See, as soon as it sends a little bit. So I have this set for 5% torque. And uh, that's how it calibrates. Okay, and then I can use the buttons here to go all the way real or release. Now, if I set this for four actuators, it will go in the middle. So this is the, the uh, park position, the original one. And now the park position is 50%. But this is all the way. So. And turn it off, calibrate, that's how to calibrate on 50% center position, okay? You may want to use this, or if you don't want to, because you don't want to park to 50%, you can just 5 actuators, and then it will burn the park. That's at least... Uh, I use because I have the four vertical sweaters. I have this, and then I'm gonna add the swords uh, or uh, traction loss on the actuator port six, and swords on probably on seven, or just use a, a good one. You in same hub, you can use how many good rows you want, so it won't matter, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it.